car and this is what we do. Let's get two big guys screening on the lane. All right, let's get a defensive guy in that little circle there in the middle and an offensive guy. All right, let's take a manager out here. Let's take a passer, just the guy that's going to pass the ball. All right, who's on defense? You're on defense? You're guarding him? Okay. All right, I want you to guard him and I want you to run off these screens, both sides. You got it? These guys are going to screen. Move up a little bit, move up a little bit. And I want you to tag him. I do not want you taking a shortcut over the top. I want you to chase him. Get right in his hind end, all right? Get right and put your nose right in the middle of his back. Tag his numbers. Do whatever you play, play tag. Your job is to get away from him. Your job is to be able to tag him. Don't touch him, though, because he'll call that. Get right on his back. Yes, is he going to catch the ball? He will. He'll catch the ball. That's OK. Close out, all that stuff. But you got to chase him, and you can't suddenly stop at the screen. If you can chase him, and you can stay within touching distance, you will beat every screen. And we're going to keep throwing it to you, and then you square up, and then you throw it back, and you get on your high horse and run again. Here we go. Go ahead. Chase him, chase him, chase him. Ah, one thing I won't let you do is curl cut. Because if you curl cut, you're taking advantage of our man who's going to stand and lock up with him. He's not going to separate from him because he'll dive or something, but he's going to stand right in here when he feels that, when he feels that you're running off his screen and maybe curl. He's going, to, he's going to get like this, and you're going to have to go out there, and then we can chase you. So no curls, okay? Go ahead. All right, keep going. Come on, chase him, chase him, chase him, chase him, chase him, chase him, chase him. All right, catch, square up. Catch, high hand, no baseline. All right, you got a notion there. Okay, that's good. Now you've probably noticed something and before you ask, let me say, he has no responsibility for help or vision or anything else. He's got one responsibility, and that's to chase this guy down. If you're being screened, forget about helping on the ball. Don't worry about it. You can't. You are being screened, you better take care of business and chase him down, all right? All right, now, you pass it to me and you run off either of these two guys, all right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna jump to the ball first and then get to him, because he might not go that way, he might go that way, and you chase him. Don't you take a shortcut. You get right on his rear end, got it? You can pass it to me. You can go this way or you can go that way. Here you go. Chase him. All right. Come on back. Chase him. Chase him. Chase him. All right. Fine. Come on across the top. Come on across the top. All right. Go off that way. Go ahead. That's it. Once I get that notion, and I have, I have managers standing with two or three air dummies all over the floor, and I will have this guy just playing tag so they know. I will chase double screens, triple screens, staggered screens, single screens. I will chase. I always allow them to go on the ball side from the weak side. I do allow that, and that's the only exception to that. Now, I've amended helping to make it simpler yet. If I am guarding the screener, I help in any way I can. If I am guarding the screener, okay, you're going to be the screener, you get over there. Come on here, screener. If I am guarding the screener, and you go and you screen for him, and he's chasing, I'm just going to be somewhat in contact with him, and I'm going to be helping this way. I'm definitely going to be helping this way, let my man chase. I, let him, I don't say you got to step out here or anything like that. I just want him within touching distance of the guy who set the screen because we're chasing and then I'll get back. If it's a back screen, go out there. We're chasing and I will see which direction he's coming and I will help him in the direction that the cutter is going. I will simply help him. And if it's a loop pass, and I'm helping, go ahead, and I see the ball up, I'm just going to go for the ball. That's natural. 
give the helper a little freedom. Sometimes we give them so many rules on the help, and I was guilty of that, that they're always helping one way, and they're not really providing enough help if a guy changes direction. I've let the helper use the time that he has, because they're not going to look to the screener as quickly as you think. Everybody's afraid that they're going to hit the screener right away. Let the helper wander a little bit within distance, a reasonable distance of the screener, and let him follow the ball and the cutter. He will get back, but it's the cutter who's using the screen whom you have to